Hi, welcome to Organic Chemistry. My name is Dr. English. Today we're going to finish our series on organic reactions. Specifically, we're going to look at an overview of polymerization, addition polymerization, condensation polymerization, esterification, combustion, saponification, and fermentation. Let's start by talking about polymerization. Polymers are organic compounds made up of chains of smaller units covalently bonded together. Polymerization is the process by which individual units, known as monomers, are linked to form a larger chain-like structure known as a polymer. Poly meaning many, mer meaning members, so many members. Polymers can be synthetic or natural. Synthetic plastics include nylon, rayon, and polyethylene, and polyurethane. Naturally occurring polymers include things like proteins, starches, and cellulose. Polymerization can occur in two ways, through addition polymerization or condensation polymerization. Let's talk about addition polymerization. All monomers are added together almost always involves the opening of a double or triple bond. So what's basically happening here is that you have an unsaturated organic compound that's going to take in additional monomer units to make a longer polymer. Let's talk about condensation polymerization, also known as dehydration synthesis, where individual units are linked together by removing a water molecule. Two products are formed, the polymer and a water molecule. Condensation polymerization requires that there be two functional groups in each monomer. An example of this is the formation of a polypeptide by joining two or more amino acids by condensation polymerization reaction as seen below, where we have an amino acid here, an amino acid here, we have the acid group right here coming together with the amine group right here. The water molecule is lost and we form the amide bond right here, also known as a peptide bond. Esterification is also another example of condensation polymerization. Esterification is the reaction of an organic acid with an alcohol to form an ester and water. Esterification is associated with pleasant smells, such as flowers and perfume. The general format here is an alcohol and an organic acid coming together to form an ester and a water molecule. So for an example, methanol and ethanoic acid will combine to produce methyl ethanoate and water. So the methanol, which we see right here, the hydrogen from there, the ethanoic acid, the OH from there, produce our water molecule, which we see over here, and we get methyl ethanoate, where we recognize the ester right here as that interior COO. Combustion. This is the most common type of organic reactions. Almost all organic compounds will burn, and we need sufficient oxygen so the carbon will burn to produce water and carbon dioxide. Refer to table I of our chemistry reference tables to see a list of combustion reactions. The first six listed are organic compounds burning in air, which in this case is oxygen. So here's an example of the combustion of propane, where we have propane plus oxygen giving us carbon dioxide and water and releasing 2,219.2 kilojoules of energy. So we can see that right here. So that's a really good thing to notice that the first six reactions on table I are all combustion reactions. Saponification. This is the hydrolysis of fats by bases and produces soap. So if I take the first four letters right here and rearrange them, they actually produce the word soap. The general format that we see here is an ester and a base producing soap and alcohol. So an example, we could take a fat plus a base produces glycerol and soap, as we can sort of see in the reaction below. The big thing here with saponification is just being able to recognize it and that it does produce soap as a product. Fermentation. 
the process by which enzymes from living organism act as catalyst in the partial breakdown of organic compounds, a chemical process in which yeast cells secrete the enzyme zymase and break down sugars into alcohol and carbon dioxide. So our general format will be some type of sugar where it just says the word sugar or is more specific like glucose or fructose, looking for some type of enzyme to drive the process and the production of alcohol and carbon dioxide as our two products. So an example here is glucose producing ethanol and carbon dioxide. So what did you learn? We had an overview of polymerization. We talked very briefly about addition polymerization and condensation polymerization. We got a basic introduction to esterification, combustion, saponification, and fermentation. Need more help? Feel free to contact me. Have a great day.